Check your books, check your mangas. Welcome, Video Game Anime here. And I'm going to do a review today. I'm going to show you my N64 collection, okay? I've never showed you in the past because my current videos, which my old channel was Triforce Faker, um, currently isn't my channel anymore. I, sh I shouldn't update the video, but I'll do a video on that later update. Basically, yeah, my new channel is uh, going for fresh. So I am doing a review on my N64 collection to back it up. So basically what you're seeing here, if you don't know, if you're a modern gamer or whatever, you play PS4, Xbox One, whatever it is, you're not familiar with the N64, okay? It's a classic console, has great games, comes with a lot of stuff, okay? There's a lot to know about the N64, okay? Like, I have one right here. I can't do a review. I have, like, three of them. So, right now I have to do a review and I can give you an example of what the N64, what it's like, okay? Okay. So, all right, hold on. See, I'm gonna give you an example, okay? My NC4 collection just got huge. Okay. See this? I'm just giving you an example, okay? This is a jumbo pack, which is released in Japan, which has a picture of pterodactyl on it. These are pretty these are very rare, okay? This is like rare, hard to find, very expensive, probably cheap right now. Amazon is right about. But there I heard that they're only in Japan, you can order them on Amazon. Costs a lot to store order them. I have a lot to show you guys. I have a lot of Inky collection. I'm, I'm, I have told you in the past, probably my other videos, my oldest videos, that I've basically been trying to do my build my collection and get it big and get as many stuff as I can to collect, you know. So, yeah, I know I had so much games to show you and do reviews on. So, get ready, guys. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to do a review on this baby right here. This is. N64 in box complete with everything the the controller you know everything if you haven't looked at N64 box before this is your first glimpse you can probably any collector would say this is a very good find I found it at um at game I found out my local game club my local hawk shop pawn shop and they the guy himself had it and I paid 90 bucks for it and it came with everything and again the system was in mint was in mint condition with a couple scarves on the front of the thing but still came with the box came with everything just everything man it's just you know it's amazing because what you find out there you find a lot of good stuff out there that are collectibles and air antiques but you get a lot because now you get so much you know with with a lot that you find and you just get you just you know collect a lot so the next thing in my collection would have to be um uh, Japanese Ocarina of Time uh, copy, which is se which isn't sealed. I just opened it, which I kept it. I wanted to do a review on it when I get a Japanese N64 when I buy one eat it pretty soon. Basically, what this is is um, J Ocarina of Time, but in Japanese with b way better um, effects. Because this one, I believe, is different than the one American one. It's the same game, but just with different like uh, subtext. So yeah, I can't do much on that. It comes with the guide and all that. It's pretty, it's basically brand new. I never used it. And then here's my games. So basically I got at least 20 something games. I'm buying a game for my brother pretty soon. A Pokemon game from him. So I'm excited for that. So first of all, I'm gonna do one re the reviews on these games now, okay? So first game is Majora's Mask for the N64, okay? This game, is it is it my classic uh, treasure? I I've been playing it since day one. Um, I got it since I was like a kid. Um, then here's okay. There's a difference between these two games and and certain games. Okay, there's a difference. Okay, there's I think you didn't know that, but originally there was there was a gold cartridge with the lit with um there was a gold cartridge that didn't have three labels. So there's difference. There's a, I'm glad I had this in my collection and I found it somewhere. Basically, this is the same game, the same version of this, but without the three label. The, the three label one's more collectible because it doesn't have that. That makes this more of a collectible, but still, this one's common. It's one you can find everywhere, but this one is kind of hard to find because it doesn't have three label and you won't come across on this. Um, basically what this game is, it's the same game, which is that without three label, uh, label on the cartridge, which makes it pretty the same value in an in one package. So if you found a copy of this, 
same game, same collectible, but if I were you, I'd rather want, I'd want this instead because it's a lot cooler looking. It's just a lot more collectible looking, you know, more stamp, just more of a, if you're a collector, you probably get that than this. But still, this is a very good game. It's one of the best games. They remade, they remade it on 3DS. Go in and get that. That game's very good. It's still still a brand new game. I actually have a 3DS game. I have two copies. I have one, I have one used and one brand new. I'm not, I have one sealed that I bought from somebody that I'm not opening and that I'm actually proud of having. And I have a 3DS as well. Then I have a Japanese version of the 3DS. I have multiple things dude and I, I collect them as a as a it's my favorite thing to do it's like a hobby basically so then get those out of the way by the way these games um i've had for a long time i just got done moving so i kind of went through my stuff and i unpacked all this and started playing through these games um first is donkey Kong 64 you're kind of used to this you know it's a known game very popular not a very popular game kind of popular but not but it's a very fun game it's not like that great of a game the ending wasn't that good i didn't like the ending i thought it was bad i thought it was a dis disaster i thought but i feel bad for those people that own the game okay, next is pokemon hey you pikachu this game is only good if you have like the controller to you have to have some mic basically you you yell out to pikachu and you tell her to come here or do this and that and she does that but it doesn't work very well so it didn't sell very well and they didn't make they didn't sell a lot of the copies and then you know became a rare hot topic to find and a lot of people stores i i look i don't have this game anywhere like only a few people have this game but it's kind of hard to find i mean it's pretty pretty decent I and mean, stuff's kind of hard to find too and expensive on ebay so i would hold if i had to hold on to that game and find the mic for that next game is ocarina of time one of the greatest games like you know, in my previous videos, I've mentioned you need to have this if you have the N64. No doubt about it. You have to have this game because it is one of the greatest games of all time. One of the greatest games. I think it's way better than Breath of the Wild. That new Zelda game came out, not better than this. People compare that game to this. This is way better than that. It may not have graphics like Breath of the Wild. It may not be the beautiful looking. But if you play the remake, it's so beautiful. I mean, it's not... It's a great game if you find this game gold or gray get it man it's a great choice and i think this game is a, a, one of the one of, uh, should get it got an award for many multiple years it's been on n64 basically this game um what i'm trying to say is this game is like like a testament of games of all ages it has just such potential it it sold so well that it, it's like breath of the wild it outsold many games so uh, even Breath of the Wild could not still beat this game in standards. It just, in my opinion, one of, like a movie, like a, like a greatest movie ever made. I mean, it to me, I love that game. I don't hate it. I think it's a great game. I I have to say I like it. My, most people don't like it. They like other Zelda games, but I I like that. But I'm more of a George Mass person than I am of Ocarina of Time. So and this game is tr Quest 64. Okay, this game was horrible. I mean, I I thought it was gonna be good because I thought. Because I didn't know how bad it was and people saying how terrible this game was and how horrible the RPG is, the quality of the RPG is, how frame rate it is. It's a bad game. If are you, I would I wouldn't pick this one up. But if you if you're a big a hardcore quest fan or hardcore like RPG person, I if you were, it's the choice for you because I personally think it's garbage. I mean <sighs> To me, it's just not a great game. I mean, if you have it, good for you. But I, I cannot stand it. I think it's the music's horrible. The soundtrack's bad. I, I wouldn't look it up on YouTube either. The soundtrack for that game. Nope. Next game is Smash. When this copy I have doesn't work. Okay, I own this copy. I had it since I was a kid and didn't take care of it. It To me, this game is a masterpiece. It, it, it basically took the NCT4 to a whole new level and it sold... More, so many copies and it's so such a known game that they even made a new one coming out this year and next month it's just to me they even brought the maps back in the new one the new one coming out so i mean i wish i can play this i really miss it but i have to find a copy of, like for me i have to find a copy of this game somewhere on ebay i don't know but it's just to me i wish i can play it. you know i miss this game but still, if you have this game, hold on to it. It's a very good game. It's going up. The price is going up. It's getting more expensive. This one, I was going to explain to you. I shouldn't have said it. I have 
the Ocarina of Time one and Japanese version of this. I, sh I shouldn't have said anything. I don't have the, the guide or manual for this game as used, and I have never played it. I don't know what it's like. So, to me, I don't. I can't tell you if it's good or not. I can't say if it's a good game. I never played it. I only played the American version. So, I heard it wasn't great because like, there's so many glitches and there bugs that were useless in the game, like some parts that are useless. So I don't know. I, I can't decide on that one. Um, Mario 64. If you have Mario 64, I'm sorry. If you have an N64, this is, just like Ocarina of Time, you have to have this with the N64. If you, even if you don't have Ocarina of Time, you still gotta have this game, because it's still one of the masterpieces on the N64 that outsold Ocarina of Time. Like, I know it's it's sad, but this game outsold Ocarina of Time. It just outsold it. It was the first 3D open world Mario game ever made. I mean, the first, the, the first ever 3D Mario game three-dimensional Mario game ever made and it still stands out to one of the greatest games out there and it still sells like crazy today on eBay and all that so if you have the manual that you're gonna have to hold on to that because it's worth a lot of money when it's brand new yeah next is Ocarina of Time I like I said I do have I do have gold cartridges on here I do have I have a one it's a mint with the manual that but I don't have the um I don't have well, I do have the manual app. This one I got on Craigslist from a guy that was selling Majora's Mask and this in box, and I lost the box and manual years ago. Um, but I've actually used this for glitching and for beating. Um, and this game is like the same game, but just with gold, with a color gold color, gold color cartridge cartridge. So it's the same game, but with a better looking cartridge. It's it's pretty rare. It's hard to find. I bet you can still find it in a store, but right now as it is, you can't find this anywhere right now. It's kind of super difficult to find, but it's still the same game, but with a gold cartridge, it's all it is. Nothing special. This, I really didn't like. I'm not a Star Wars fan, but to me, it's a great game. I'm onto racing, you know, so it's a very good choice. If I were you, I would pick it up. Mario Party. Okay, this... I have other ones too. Two other ones for this. The original Mario Party. This is what started it all. This is what completed the... This is what made everything, as we all know, is a spinoff. This game, to me, is the best Mario Party out there. It's, to me, the outstanding best Mario Party. It has the best maps, the best mini games, you know, the best everything. Until they started pasting... Pasting the maps in every game. Because other games that are made are always pasting these maps. Like the newest one... That one's kind of copying these, some of these maps. I mean, it just feels like the, the original Mario Party is co the the newest one was supposed to be a reimagine of this one, but it just doesn't feel like it's a reimagine of Mario Party. I, I have to say that it's not like it's this one's better than that one. I did not like the Switch version. I thought it wasn't that good, but it to me it's a good game. All right, two other ones we gotta do reviews on. Okay, guys, Mario Party Two. Okay, this one I heard is one of the greatest Mario Parties out there. One of the best Mario Parties ever made. I don't know why I didn't I don't know why it's the best because it to me it doesn't have it just copies like I said paces the Mario Party maps from the first game but it just make them look better and and I, I mean I don't like it really I mean the only map I like in this game is the Bowser land that's it I don't like other maps it's just to me it's not that great I don't know what's good about that game now the great one of the greatest Mario Parties out there Mario Party 3 this one is a pocket picker if you want this game like, like, when I was a, a gamer, I had to have all three of them. And this one was so hard to find and so hard to come by. I could not find it anywhere. But now I can look. I can go to the store and find it now. Back in the day, I could not find this anywhere. And, and it was extremely expensive and extremely hard to get. So, if you have this game, hold on to it. Mine's not in good condition, but it it's a, it's in decent condition, okay? But it works. Okay, next game. Okay, I'm sorry. This is the same game, not the greatest. I mean, the greatest, the same game, whatever. Go in and pick it up if you have N64. I'm sorry, I have two copies of that. Apologize. Now, here we go to the goods. One of the best games out there, okay? Banjo and Tui. Rare made one of the greatest games out there. They had made this three games that I find the greatest. Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, Banjo Kazooie, and Banjo and Tui. I do not like. Gold Knight or ba uh, or Perfect Dark. I don't like any of those games. They're, to me, I'm not into the classic shooters. I'm more into these kind of games than the classic shooters. So I picked it up if you see it in a store. It's pretty expensive. 
Next is the original Banjo Kazooie. This is the greatest Banjo Kazooie out there. It, I think, to me, it's better than Tui. I think because it, because it, basically started what Conquer is today. It's just kind of cop rare. Con I think Conquer kind of copied Banjo Kazooie. Kind of, it kind of took the elements from Banjo Kazooie and it just kind of put in, kind of copied it a little bit. But if you have this, go ahead and play it. The Game Boy version is kind of a sequel to it, so. Now, like I said, Goldeneye is my favorite game. It's I think it's one of the worst. I don't like Goldeneye, so. A lot of people think Goldeneye is a great game, so go ahead and pick it up if you like it. Now, the last game. This one I don't like, and I don't even know what it's like, and I never, I never really beat the game, and I don't even know how to play it, I don't even know how to beat it. I can't, till this day, I'm 24, and I still can't figure out how to beat this game. It's so hard. I don't know how to beat it. I'm sorry. I just wish I could beat it. I just don't know what to do with this game. It's just, to me, it's a fucking weird game. I'm sorry. That's it, guys. I have more in my collection, all right? I have plenty enough games to show you, but... I have to go through my movie. I just moved in, you know, so I gotta get all that taken care of. And next is my PS4 collection, so get ready for that. Check your manga and check your books. Video game anime out.